Guam's history, culture, wildlife, World War II, and Spanish Chamorro Wars. Enarijan. Located on the southern coast of Guam, Enarijan is an important historic site. The village is a mixture of Spanish and early American architectural styles. Enarijan is home to many historic sites, including the St. Joseph Catholic Church, which has been the center of the village for hundreds of years. The church was originally built in 1680. It was reconstructed several times. It is also the burial site of Father Jesus Baza Duenas, a priest who served on Guam during World War II. Visitors can also explore a few of the forts located in the area. A hiking trail in the nearby Marizo area offers a peaceful way to enjoy the scenery. The Jeff Pago Cultural Village, located on the southern coast of Guam, is also a popular tourist destination. It is staffed by elder Chamorros who demonstrate traditional Chamorro crafts and cooking. It is a popular spot for tourists and students. Another place to see historical sites is the Gadeo's Cave in the Guayfun area. It contains ancient cave pictographs. It is also the location of the famous Chief Gadeo, revered in Chamorro folklore for his strength. Please like, share, and subscribe. Tistel Newman Visitor Center Located on the shores of Guam, the Tistel Newman Visitor Center offers visitors the opportunity to experience World War II sites. This facility is part of the National Park Service and is open seven days a week. It features museum artifacts, interactive displays, and programs that tell the story of World War II. The center also features a laser show and a gift shop. The Guam Museum is a great family destination. There are interesting displays of the history of the island, and there is also a gift shop with some interesting items for sale. There are several interesting displays on the Pacific Theater in World War II. The Pacific War Museum is a major World War II history museum. It is a popular tourist destination and is home to several interesting exhibits. War in the Pacific National Historical Park is a multi-unit protected area on the island. The park honors the sacrifices and bravery of the people who fought and lived through World War II. The park features seven sites owned by the National Park Service. These sites include the T. Stel Newman Visitor Center, Ace and Overlook, Mount Tenjo, Mount Cha Chao, Pity Guns Park, Haggett, and Agania Heights. Talafofo Falls Park Located in the south of Guam, Talafofo Falls Park is one of the most popular destinations on the island. The falls are a series of cascades on the Yugam River. They are a popular tourist destination and are easy to access via a gondola ride. Talafofo Falls Park has a small museum and a gondola ride, which takes visitors along the Yugam River and the forest. The gondola ride ends at a freshwater pool beneath the falls, which is a relaxing way to spend the day. There is also a hiking trail that leads to the falls. There is a museum in Talafofo Falls Park, which offers an insight into the history of Guam. It is open daily, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. It features artifacts, as well as information about World War II. It also has a lunch counter, which offers a variety of local and American food. In addition to the museum, there are several fun activities at Talafofo Falls Park. The park features several fountains, a shooting range, and an erotic statue park, which includes a Love Land exhibit. There are also cable car rides, a kid's ride, and an observation tower. The area is home to several caves. One of these caves was used by Shoichi Yokoi, a Japanese soldier who hid in the jungle for 20 years during World War II. After his death, his cave was protected as a historical monument. Spanish Chamorro Wars During the Spanish Chamorro Wars in Guam, Chamorros fought against the Spanish for nearly two centuries. The battles ended with the death of most Chamorros. Chamorros are indigenous throughout the Mariana Islands chain. They have dual national identities as part of the United States and the Philippines. They believe their ancestors have lived in the Marianas since the beginning. They use a system of clan names to navigate relationships. They place a high priority on their mother's clan line. Their material possessions are inherited equally from both parents. The first recorded Spanish Chamorro Wars on Guam began in 1671 when tensions grew between the Spanish mission and the Chamorro people. The Chamorro chief Megalahi Hireo incited the Chamorro warriors to attack the Spanish mission in Hagatna. The mission was attacked by 2,000 Chamorro warriors in 1671. In 1671, Spanish missionaries Diego Luis de San Vitas and his Mexican servant were killed by Chamorro warriors. The Chamorro people then arranged to have the mission's catechist and five other Spanish foreigners murdered. This was the last large-scale uprising until 1683. 
The first permanent Spanish mission on Guam was established in 1668. It was later converted into a crude fort. During the 17th century, Chamorro society became stratified and a class structure emerged. Chamorros placed high importance on anathemala or the spirit of interdependence. They value group interests over individual interests. Chamorros also used a system of clan names to navigate relationships. Their closest kin group consists of their first and second cousins from their mother's and father's lines. World War II Related Items and Facilities During World War II, Guam and the CNMI were vital to the United States' interests in the Western Pacific. These islands served as important bases for military aircraft, naval operations, and nuclear deterrence. The first major amphibious landing occurred on Guadalcanal in August 1942. Japanese defenders built elaborate networks of bunkers and artillery emplacements during the battle. The Japanese held Guam until August 12, 1944. They surrendered a month later. Thousands of American soldiers were killed and wounded. In July 1944, the Americans began the invasion of Guam from the beaches along the shore. The landing force consisted of Marine and Army units from General Geiger's three amphibious corps. The first objective was Opera Harbor. The invasion was delayed for a month to allow for thorough bombardment. The Japanese were unable to break through and the battle ended with the Americans capturing the island. After Guam was secured, the island became an important storehouse for ships and aircraft supplies. Guam was also important as a refueling point for planes. It became the principal naval base in the Western Pacific. It was also a major army air base. Guam also became the Pacific Fleet Headquarters. Military housing in Guam included dormitories, barracks, hotels, and single-family dwellings. There were also visitor quarters, personal vehicle garages, and indoor and outdoor recreational facilities. These facilities were built as part of the Army's base development plans. Please like, share, and subscribe. Wildlife Located in the Western Pacific, Guam is the southernmost island in the Marianas Islands chain. It is approximately 1,600 miles southeast of Japan. It is a popular tourist destination known for its beautiful reefs and marine life. Its coral reefs are home to tens of thousands of visitors every year. The history of Guam is diverse. Before the Spanish arrived in 1521, Chamorro people were already on the island. They were a well-organized group of people who had mastered ocean navigation. They were able to keep their culture intact. Other historical sites of interest include the Magellan Monument. This memorial commemorates the first documented contact with the Western world. The Magellan Monument is located in the village of Humatac. The war in the Pacific National Historical Park is another important site. This park boasts seven units spread across the central southern portion of the island. The park includes limestone forests, tropical savanna grasslands, coral reefs, and seagrass beds. One of Guam's most interesting historical sites is the Valley of the Latte. This site is home to 4,000 years of local culture and history. Its stone architecture is unique to the Marianas. It is also home to several ancient waterfalls. The most famous waterfall is the San Carlos. The park also boasts several other notable features. If you enjoyed this video let us know by clicking the like button, sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to our channel. Also, if you click the bell icon and turn on notifications you will be the first to know whenever we upload new videos. Thanks for watching, we appreciate the support.